Hey everyone, uh, Pete here. I wanted to show you today Wonderlist. Uh, it's definitely a, uh, a great project management and task application, but it's free and it is available on a plethora of devices, including the Android, iPhone, iPad, uh, works in all the browsers. But one of the big things that I wanted to show you today, as opposed to just showing you the functionality of the application, I wanted to show you how I use it to actually get things done. Um, the Wonderlist uh, system is actually based on the Getting Things Done system by David Allen. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's kind of a little bit of a uh, watered down version, but it's got everything um, set up and usable for that system and is actually very, very uh, nicely done. So first thing I want to show you is um, how it looks. Obviously you can see it here. We've got uh, a project or a uh, kind of a bucket group on this side as well as the individual tasks that would show up here. Um, obviously the getting things done system is kind of a philosophy that you're going to be able to uh, come up with tasks, address tasks, but you're not going to be able to really sort them or manage those tasks and that's going to be left up to the system. And So I want to show you exactly what you can do here. First of all, you can in your inbox, anytime you enter a task uh, in the general form here, you can, it's going to put it in your inbox. And so let's say we've got a couple things, for instance, like take out the trash, um, wash the car, uh, these are all personal things. Let's say let's do a couple business uh, items too. Um, respond to uh, the request for pricing. You've got a couple other business things like set up company outing. And let's say you've got a couple things, say for church, uh, print bulletins. Whoops, bulletin, whatever. Um, uh, count money and make deposits. And then let's say there's a couple of uh, side things. Uh, you do something with Boy Scouts, um, and uh, that means pack the tents, buy camping supplies. So you've got all these different things here, and they're not really sorted. They're all just sitting in your inbox. They haven't been done anything. And so one of the first thing you need to do is uh, when you have some time, uh, maybe your hour of power in the morning or some downtime, jump online here, uh, put these and sort these into the buckets that they, they, they fit. So let's say here, we're going to set up a couple of, oops, I'm going to set it up down here by clicking add list. First one, Boy Scouts. Another one, personal. Another one, work. And, uh, and the other the other one that we talked about, say church. Now I can go back here and click on inbox. It's going to show me all these uh, items that aren't sorted. Take out the trash. I just drag it here to personal. Now it's sorted in personal. I can see one item here. Wash the car. That's personal. Respond to request for pricing. That's going to be work. Set up company outing. That's going to be work. Print bulletins. That's going to be church. Count money and make deposits. That's church. Pack tents. That's Boy Scouts. Buy camping supplies. That's Boy Scouts now too. So now we see we've got two um, uh, items in each project and we can go to any of these and sort them let's say uh, you're setting up a party as one of your projects you can put all the tasks there and put them in the order that you want um, so I'm gonna just put here first task last task and kinda show you that um, I can just slide that first one all the way up and now they're prioritized and I can I move them in any order I want so that's awesome the real great thing about the GTD system is that now you can also create lists uh, based on all your tasks and projects without losing the organization of those projects. So now let's say it's uh, Monday morning and I want to get some things done and I want to look at each of my things and you know what today I can, I can buy camping supplies so I'm going to flag that. Um, but that's the only thing I can get done in, in Boy Scouts today. Uh, in the personal, I can get my trash taken out, but I don't have time to wash the car. In the work, I need to obviously, let's say I need to do both of these and you need to respond to the request and set up the company outing. In church, I just don't have any time to do any of that today. So now I've flagged by hitting those stars some of the tasks that I want to do today. And I'll go down here and click in the sort button and get all the starred items. Now you can see everything I starred is going to be in my starred list and and now throughout the day I can get do these and check them off and that does not hit, hurt the organization of the items in the project so that's really the great thing here um, is certainly as you check off these items you know let's see I'll, I'll, I'll pretend like I've done them all you can go back to these groups and you're gonna see that they're checked off here but you haven't ruined the integrity of your project list and so that's really the great thing um, again now let's say you're just sitting uh, uh, on your phone um, uh, sitting in the train station waiting for a train and you think of things to do like um, pick up 
gift for wife. You can just kind of dump these all in here. They, they'll just sit in your inbox. You don't have to do anything. Read book for book club. Just keep putting them there. When you have time, go ahead and sort those suckers out. You know, just drag them to where you want to be. Again, uh, each project um, stays unified with all the tasks there, but then you can certainly get them organized uh, by what you want to do on that day. You can also add dates to these items. I do that uh, quite a bit here. You can sort of pick a date. That way it's going to show up on, uh, on the date that you have scheduled it. Um, and then you can also click here to go to all. And you can also look at your completed tasks. But I just kind of wanted to show you, there's a lot of other functionality here, but I just wanted to show you specifically what you can do with this uh, um, this project management task in, in a kind of a real world environment. So hopefully that helps. You can definitely check this out. Go to wonderlist, W-U-N-D-E-R-L-I-S-T dot com. And uh, check it out, set up an account for free. Like I said, you can download the apps for free to all sorts of different devices. And you can get it through your browser just like this. So um, hope that helped everyone. Look forward to seeing you soon.